Now I have a simple task. I want to create a pitch deck to convince retail and grocery stores to stock my natural flavored sparkling water. However, with so many different AI presentation tools out there, how do I know the best one to pick? In this video, I will be taking the five biggest AI presentation tools in the space, putting them head to head and giving them the task of creating a presentation for my natural sparkling water brand. So keep watching, I'm going to show you everything in this video and you will walk away knowing exactly which AI presentation tool you should be using. Now, the first one that we will try out is SendSteps. So as soon as we load into SendSteps right here, it's going to ask us to enter in the prompt. So I can type this in and intentionally, I have left this prompt super big I don't want to give it a lot of information because I want to show you the full extent of what these tools can do, even with a very simple prompt. So let's go ahead and click enter. And of course, we now need to create an account. Okay, so we have all of this. We want to create a presentation. And with send steps, this looks super nice so far. We can go through, we can enter in the tone of voice. Let's say this is persuasive. And then we can also choose a title for the presentation. So from these, I'm actually probably going to go with this one at the bottom. And then we can choose how long would we like the presentation to be. We have six, 12, and then 15 slides. Going to go for the middle, so 12 slides, and then we can click on generate. And this is the presentation generator. So I'm just going to go through. And what I will say about this is send step from all of the ones I have tried so far is by far the worst. Like, yes, we have all of these tools over here on the left hand side, but the entire point in this experiment is I want to see what saves us the most time and minimizes the time that we have to put into a presentation. Now, I'm going to go through here and imagine turning up to a board meeting or a sales pitch, and this is what you have. We have some images here that are nothing to do with sparkling water. Like, these are condiments. We have an introduction right here. It's also giving us this pop-up to rate my experience so far. I'm going to give this one star. And it just gives us little bullet points to say. We have another slide that is, once again, nothing to do with sparkling water. High quality ingredients. And <laughs> this is just nothing. Like, I could have created this myself in literally five minutes. We can go in here and start editing this PowerPoint right here. So this quote, we can change and type whatever we want. We can also use these elements on the left hand side to add certain things in. So we can add like an image right here. We can add a text and title. We can add a quote to this. We can also change the layout up here of each slide and how they look. But quite frankly, I would genuinely say that using this tool would take me more time than if I just went to Microsoft PowerPoint, created a completely blank PowerPoint and just started from scratch. So the fact that this AI tool actually would slow me down rather than helping me, and I also have to pay for this, this is just a tool that I cannot recommend to anybody. Now onto the next tool that we have, and this is simplified.com. Now this is an AI tool. However, this tool right here is not specifically built for AI presentations. With that in mind, they do have this. This is like a bonus feature. So let's go ahead and try it out. Now, there's one major problem that we run into straight away, because if I try to generate this, as soon as we go to this next screen, you can see mine here being very, very vague. It fit just about. But if I wanted to put in some more detail, like you definitely would if you were actually creating a pitch deck with this, this 20 word limit, I don't know why they have it, but it is super, super limiting. And it really limits the things that you can do with this tool. So let's try it out anyway. Let's click on next. It's then going to ask us to choose from one of these templates. Now we can't do this, of course, because we have to upgrade to premium to use any of these templates. So let's just click on skip and generate. And it's now going to create us this presentation. So this is the presentation right here. And once again, this is not perfect. We have some wrong images right here that we would definitely need to change. But if we look overall, I would say this is maybe a bit of a starting point and I could actually use this as a little bit of a benefit. Like if I use this template right here, I would still have a lot of work to do on my end and I would still have to manually create most of this presentation. 
but at least it doesn't physically hinder me like send steps did. So once again, this is not the best, but it is a little bit better than send steps. So I'm going to give this one a three out of 10 rating. Okay, now onto the third tool that we are going to be talking about. And from all of the tools that I have heard people talk about online, only now are we going to get into the tools that I actually see a use for and I would actually consider good. Now, the first of these is Slides AI. And this is an installation for Google Slides. So rather than being its own software, like the other ones we saw, this one specifically attaches to Google Slides and is used on top of Google Slides. So in here, we can click on Install Slides AI for Google Slides. And then we want to install this. And then once that has been installed, it tells us right here where we can actually find this. So this is in the extension tab. So let's now go ahead and open up Google Slides and start out with a blank template. Now, I do want to mention here before we even go into this, the reason that I personally love this tool so much is because this integrates with Google Slides. With every slideshow or presentation that I create, I've always used Google Slides. I already know how to use it. And I don't really want to be learning another software if I can avoid it. So in my opinion, this is really the beauty of this tool right here is the fact that we can just go to extensions and then slidesai.io and then we can choose from all of these different options. So we can either generate slides, magic write, edit slides with slides AI. So let's just go and generate some slides. And in here, it's going to give us this pop up where we can now type in exactly what we want this to do. So I'm once again going to go from on text and I can paste in my prompt. And in here, it tells us that we need at least 350 characters for better results. So what I'm going to do is just change this up a little bit, keep the essence the same, but just add a little bit more detail. So if you want to pause and read over this, I still kept this super, super broad. I didn't really give it any extra information apart from telling it that it has zero calories and zero sugar, but I just told it what to mention. So mention the USPs of the product. I didn't tell it what the USPs are. If I was actually creating this, then I would, but just to keep this broad and make this as fair as possible, let's now click on choose appearance. We can then choose the presentation type. So whether this is general, conference, educational, pitch deck, or sales. I'm going to go for pitch deck and then we can also choose the number of slides. I'm just going to set it to auto. Then down here, we can also choose any of these themes. We can also choose the layout, but I'm just going to click create slides. So this is now created. Let's back out of this and see what this has come up with. So we have the title, then we have introducing our product. We have like a pie chart right here. Then we have this about the unique selling points of the product. We then have profit for retail and grocery stores. And look at this, the image is actually kind of okay. Once again, it's still a little bit off. We don't really have anything here to do with sparkling water specifically, but it is better than the other two. Then we have why choose us, and that's the end of the presentation. So what I would say about this is there is a lot of potential here. And when I have used this in my own business to create my own presentations, it is a lot better when you can provide it with more detail. The two that we mentioned earlier, simplified and send steps, even if you give them more information, it's still going to come out pretty bad in terms of the presentation. But with this, you can see it's a lot more promising. And if you do give it more detail, it can really help you out. But now let's move on to the two that are absolutely fantastic. And ever since using these two tools, it's genuinely changed the game and completely changed how I write presentations. Now, honestly, I would say both of these are as good as each other. It really just depends on which one you prefer. The first one is tome.app. So I can paste in this same prompt, keeping this super general and super broad. Then we can click on generate outline. And this is first of all going to give us an outline and show us all of the different pages of the pitch. So we start out with an introduction, then we have market opportunity, product overview, benefits of stocking our sparkling water. And just remember how short and how broad this prompt is. With the other ones, we definitely needed to give them more information. But with this one, it's taken this small amount of information that we've given it and came up with all of these different areas without me telling it to do so. 
So now let's click generate presentation and just look at the difference between this. <laughs> it is absolutely insane. Now, of course, these images are not perfect, like they are not my brand, but we finally have some images that are actually of sparkling water. So we start off with the title right here, and then we go to this page. It tells us the purpose of this presentation. So once again, you might want to go through and make a few changes. Like if I was presenting this pitch deck, I definitely wouldn't be telling the people the purpose of this presentation is to convince you to stock our sparkling water. I would word it a little bit differently. But then we have an agenda showing what this presentation is going over. Then we can see a market opportunity page, the product overview, so key features of the product. We then have benefits of stocking our sparkling water. We can see all of this information right here. This just looks beautiful. We then have a target audience, a fantastic picture right here shows us the target audience and I mean look how accurate this is. Who do you think would be interested in buying 100% natural flavored sparkling water? People who are health conscious, millennials, and people who are looking for a healthier alternative to sugary drinks. Then we have this next slide going over competitor analysis. So of course we can change this and add in our actual competitors but this is a fantastic idea that I can now run with and I didn't have to come up with myself. So once again, this is absolutely something that you will have to go through and add a few adjustments yourself. But compared to the other tools that we looked at, just how much of a difference this has in terms of the heavy lifting that it does for us. So that is Tom app right there. Once again, we can click in and just make any changes that we need to. If we want to edit these images, we can click on here and then we can change the image. And then the final app that I want to touch on is Gamma.app. Now, in my opinion, this is just slightly, slightly better than Tom. But what we can do is generate right here. And then we can select presentation, paste the exact same prompt in. Let's go for 10 cards and then generate outline. Once again, just like Tom, this is going to give us an outline of the entire pitch. So we can add things in if we want to. We can change any of these right here. And then you can see this is going to cost us 40 credits. We can also choose the amount of text per card, whether this is brief, medium, or detailed. And then we can also change the image style of these AI images. So let's click on continue. And then we can see a theme preview as well. So we can skip between any of these. And I'm just going to leave it as maybe this. This is a little bit more health conscious, I think. I think this fits the brand well. So let's go for generate. And that is going to start generating it. So while this is still generating, let's just go back and look through these. And you can see this is a very beautiful template once again. So the text and everything in here is fantastic. Once again, we have accurate images where we have sparkling water. We have bottles of sparkling water, cans of sparkling water. On here, we have the unique and refreshing taste profiles. So we have bold and vibrant flavors. This is making me tempted to, <laughs> to stock my own sparkling water. Commitment to using only natural ingredients. Health benefits of sparkling water over sugary sodas. Increasing consumer demand for a healthier beverage option. So we can see how much that increased. The sparkling water market value. We can then see the pricing, profit margins. And once again, like this is a fantastic tool. This is already doing 90% of the heavy lifting for me. And you can really see the difference between Tome and Gamma, between the other tools that we reviewed and the other ones that are not so good. So overall, it is clear that Tome and Gamma are by far the best. You can really pick out of the two of them which one you should be using, but it's definitely one of those two. So those are some AI presentation tools. Hopefully you found this video valuable. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.